In this video, we're going to look at the construction to solution checks, and this time we have to do two checks when we're working with an inequality. In the previous page, we looked at when working with inequalities, we have to watch out for times when we multiply or divide by a negative number. So now this situation, so we're going to the whole process is the same until we get to both the deconstruction story and then also when we check the um, solution. So we start with A. A is multiplied by 6. This product is added by 1. This sum is multiplied by negative 2. And then this product is added by 5. And the sum is less than 11. So in our deconstruct story, we start with the sum is less than 11. So we're going to start with 11. And that looks like negative 2 times 6a plus 1 plus, to make it a sum, plus 5. So then we added 5, so we're going to subtract 5. And when we subtract 5, we're going to end up with a product. And so that product is the negative 2 times 6a plus 1. Next, we multiplied by negative 2. And so in order to undo this, we're going to divide by negative 2 and change the direction of the inequality. Again, what, because we're working with an inequality, we have to watch out for any time we multiply or divide by negative 2. So when we divide by negative 2, that negative 2 is going to go away. I am left with a sum, and my sum is 6a plus 1. My next one is the product is added by 1, and so I am going to subtract 1. And when I subtract 1, I end up with a product, and that product is 6a. And then lastly, I multiplied by 6. And when I multiply by 6, that means I'm going to divide by 6. This time, I don't have to change the direction of the inequality because I'm dividing by a positive number. So I end up with, I'm going to end up with A, but I don't have to worry about changing the direction of the inequality simply because we're dividing by a positive number. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the solve process. And so we start with our negative 2 times 6A plus 1 plus 5 is less than 11. We're going to subtract 5, and when we subtract 5, we end up with a product. And when we subtract 5, we're going to have 6. Now we're going to divide by negative 2 and change the direction of the inequality. When I divide by negative 2, my multiplication goes away, so I just end up with 6a plus 1. But now I have to change the direction of the inequality because I am dividing by negative 2. And that gives me negative 3. Next, I am going to subtract 1. And when I subtract 1, the addition goes away. I'm left with the product. So 6a, I'm going to subtract 1. And when I subtract 1, I have a negative 4. And then lastly, I multiply by 6, which means I'm going to divide by 6. And when I divide by 6, I'm left with A. 
and I do not have to change the direction of the inequality because it's a positive 6. I'm going to divide by 6, and I get negative 4 over 6, or you can say a is greater than negative 2 thirds. We don't want to convert this to a decimal because that's a repeating decimal and then that'll cause us um, problems when we go to check. So now we're going to check our solution. So we're going to check the value of the variable. So the value of the variable is a uh, is negative two thirds. That's so we're looking at a equals negative two thirds. And then in the second check, we're going to check the inequality symbol to make sure it's going in the right direction. And so we're going to evaluate. So we're going to plug in 6, and then we're going to take times negative 2 thirds um, plus 1 plus 5. And we're going to see if this is equal to 11, because we're checking the value of the variable, which means the statement should be equal to 11. So 6 times a negative 2 thirds is negative 4. So we have negative 2 times negative 4 plus 1 plus 5. Now we have negative 2. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3 plus 5. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6 plus 5. 11 does equal 11, which means we did our math correctly. A is correctly equal to negative two thirds. Now the next piece is to check to make sure the inequality sign is going in the right direction. And so think back to when our what we when we were graphing inequalities. If I have zero here, negative two thirds here. And I want values that are greater than negative two thirds. Open circle because it's not equal to and going in the greater than direction. So we want all the A values greater than negative two thirds. So I can pick any number here that is greater than negative two thirds to substitute in to evaluate with to find out if in fact the expression is less than 11. So I'm going to pick the easy number of 0. So I'm going to use a equals 0. And so when I pick a equals 0, I'm going to do negative 2 times 6 times 0, because that's the number I'm plugging in, plus 1, close my parentheses, plus 5. Now I'm checking to see if this expression is in fact less than 11. That's my original inequality. So now I have negative 6, I'm sorry, negative 2. 6 times 0 is 0. We don't necessarily need the 0 there, but I'm going to put it there just so we see all the steps. Negative 2 times 1 plus 5. Negative 2 plus 5. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. 3 is less than 11 which is checks, which means that our answer of a is greater than or equal to negative 3 with this graph is correct.